Just hours ago, President Obama telling America that he won't allow ISIS militants to set up a safe haven in Iraq and that U.S. airstrikes have destroyed weapons held by the terror group. This as U.S. forces continue airdropping humanitarian aid. The president says this operation could take months, but he's facing criticism from those who think his reaction is insufficient and too late. Joining me now, Fox News political analyst Angela McGlowan and Leslie Marshall radio talk show host and Fox News contributor. Good to see both of you. Good to see you, Arthur. You All right. So um, I think I'm going to go with you on this one first, uh, Leslie. So now that we're getting information across the board, we're hearing this, that ISIS was more advanced than early intelligence indicated. Do you think the targeted airstrikes are too little too late or more appropriately timed, Leslie? No, I think they're they're actually very appropriately timed. Uh, you know, first of all, although uh, on, on the one hand we constantly think here in the United States and in the international community that uh, you know the U.S. is Superman, we put on a cape and you know our mighty mouse <laughs> here we come to save the day. Uh, but the reality is when we look at just air involvement, although these uh, drone attacks are very significant, they've been very successful and they will continue to be. A, this is not the United States. It is Iraq. It is a sovereign nation. Uh, B, we just had this week compliance from the prime minister of Iraq with regard to uh, air use by Kurds. Uh, C, we can't do this alone. I mean, we need help with, from the Turks, other allies, and eventually the president is going to, and is probably working on it now, getting Saudi Arabia involved, the United Nations, other Arab nations. This is not something we can go alone. The goal is and has to okay. be that the Iraqis take care of this on their own. All right, Angela, go ahead and jump in. Uh, too much, too little, too late. It's like we're playing catch up. We are the leader of the free world. Now, I agree with Leslie, we shouldn't go it alone, but we always take the lead, Leslie, and other people follow. And the fact that we've been absent for so long, the terrorists have taken advantage of that. And 15 months ago, President Obama said that the war on terror was over. Well, uh, quick note, ISIS did not get that memo. People in the United States might have believed that. <laughs> the president ran on that. But the war on terror is clearly not over, so now it's time for us to stand firm. And if I were the president, I'd take a page out of Bush's doctrine, because we don't know what the president's doctrine is. And what Bush page was is that? Yeah, go ahead. What would Bush president was Bush proactive. Uh -huh. and aggressive and we knew where he stood he did not have any ambiguity when it came to terrorists and how we dealt with threats and terrorists with the president the administration even said this morning we're still going to study it we don't need to study it we know what's happening and we know how to fix it so let's fix it all right well listen so i'm going to move on uh and the president of course as you know he assured uh, the american people that american troops were not going to get dragged into another mm -hmm. fight another war there because there's no american military solution he says to this larger crisis there um so leslie back to you now do you think the president can be absolute on this or do you fear mission creep <laughs> well, I always have those fears. I think every American does. I mean, seriously, just when you say the name Iraq, uh, you know, we definitely have extremely uh, high emotions uh, and not just necessarily left and right Democrat and Republican with regard to that. Uh, there's a, a level of apprehension by the American people. Certainly the president has to uh, look into that and the best interest uh, of our nation. But when we when we talk about what our level of, of involvement will be, I think the president can be and has to be uh, Resolute. If we look historically at the United States uh, military involvement in, in the Middle East, um, mm -hmm. and, and whether it's uh, even diplomatic involvement, uh, we, we don't have an easy solution. Uh, we're looking at, again, uh, terrains that are difficult, cultures that and languages that we don't fully uh, understand lastly, and dialects uh, in those it, regions. Okay, and uh, Angela, yes, let, me, let me give yes. you a specific question because I know you yes, want to jump in. Yes. So you know, uh, Angela, the president spoke to the public. I want to ask you specifically, right. do you think yes. President Obama needs needs to uh, lay out a more specific strategy to fellow politicians there in D.C. in terms of how to handle this crisis, this current crisis in Iraq. I mean, Arthel, I don't think that he should be totally public with the strategy, but yes, inside the Beltway, meet with politicians so the politicians can go back home to let Americans know we have it solved, we have it handled, let's trust the commander in chief. Right now, there's so much ambiguity out there. When you have ambiguity, people come to their own conclusion. As for boots on the ground, mm -hmm. the people in Iraq said, we don't need boots on the ground. We have enough people on the ground. We need supplies. We have old weapons. They're antiquated. 
We need supplies in Iraq. We don't need people. So I think we know what needs to happen. But yes, the president needs to develop a strategy, but not go public with it. Okay, fair enough. Angela McLaughlin and Leslie Marshall, I've got to leave it there. I will talk to you both later. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Arthel. Thank you.